On delivery of the Jerome Mercury Meter Model 405, confirm that you have received everything you ordered. You should have the unit, probe, instructional CD, USB mini drive, zero filter, manual, charger, and the calibration certificate. The unit operates on rechargeable batteries and will run for approximately 24 hours on a single charge. The unit comes fully charged and ready to operate. If you are not going to use the unit within two days of receipt, you must recharge the unit by plugging in the charger and allowing the unit to charge overnight. The unit should be re-zeroed prior to starting your survey. To do this, connect the zero filter and turn on the unit by pressing the I.O. button. Then press the sample button located at the end of the handle. You will need to push the sample button two to three times until you get a zero reading on the screen. The digital readout should drop to 0.00. .00. If it doesn't, the sensor should be regenerated. Galson Laboratories regenerates the sensor prior to shipping each time, and regeneration should not be necessary. However, if it is necessary to do so, remove the zero filter and follow these steps. Plug the unit in to the outlet. Push the right arrow button and scroll until the Regenerate shows in the display screen. Then push Enter. You will be asked if you want to regenerate now. Press Enter. The unit will then ask if you want to perform regen using external power. Be sure the unit is plugged in and press Enter. Warning will appear alerting you to not disconnect from the outlet. Press Enter. The unit will start to make a noise and will last for approximately 45 minutes. When the unit stops, regeneration is complete. To start your survey, connect the probe, then turn the unit on. The instrument is preset for your data logging time interval or is set to the default of one minute. To collect a sample, point the probe where you want to draw your sample and push the button at the end of the handle. Wait until the unit displays the result. Go on to the next location and repeat. Continue until done. When the survey is over, Push the right arrow button and scroll down to Data and hit Enter. Install the USB drive to the back of the unit and keep pushing the right arrow button until Save to USB Drive appears and push Enter. Data is now being dumped to the USB drive. The drive will be blinking while the data is being transferred and will stop when done. Remove the USB drive. Install the USB drive in the PC. Open the text file. Click on Save As and name your file, then print. Remove the USB drive, repack, and ship back to Galson Labs. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat.